Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble a transaxle here. There's a lot of misconfusion on the internet now these days with how to uh, put these together and disassemble and why is it not working and this and that. So decide this is a good excuse to show you guys how to do this. I broke posi in this transaxle, so I wanted to see uh, what exactly happens and maybe show you guys. But also, good excuse to make a video on how to do it. This is a Peerless 930, if you can't tell from the casing, this is out of the MTD. I've been running this for a very long time, and now it's time to upgrade. You'll see that in the video series later. Alright, so the first trick I want to show you guys how to take this axle apart is to knock all the dust off. And obviously these axles get a lot of uh, mowing grass in them, or dirt and grime from wheeling and stuff like that. And when you take the case off, all the bolts are off and everything, when you take it off, Sometimes people tip the case or whatever and then all the dirt goes right inside your axle So this is a good time to scrape off all your dirt and get rid of it Obviously mine's been collecting a lot of dirt Go ahead and get rid of all that and now you can start rip tear shit and take all the bolts out So now the common problem with people is that they take all the bolts out and they say, oh, well, all the bolts are out. So now I'm going to take a uh, flathead screwdriver and I'm going to wedge them in between the case. And obviously the case splits apart, but they're like, well, the axle's not coming apart. See, the problem with this is that they're overlooking the bolt that's underneath the pulley. Usually there's a great big giant stock 8, 9 inch pulley over here. And what they're missing is that there's a bolt right there to hold the two cases together. Better, better structural support and stuff like that. So... Somehow, you can uh, get a ratchet, I've done it before, you can get a ratchet in between the pulley and uh, the case there. Or, you can hole saw the pulley off, or to get a puller, take it off, whatever. I have a couple videos of how to take the pulleys off and stuff, but there's other videos online. You can research it, and obviously that, uh, <clears throat> I'm not the only one with those kind of videos. And anyway, so you want to, I hold saw this pulley off. And uh, you can take a puller and take it off. But anyways, you can get to that bolt and uh, then remove it. And now your case will easily come apart with a uh, flathead screwdriver or something like that. Now the problem with uh, some other cases like my 820 uh, garden tractor axle is that the shifter fork will come up and grab the first gear set here. And what the problem with that is... Uh, then you can't, it wants to take this gear set with it. Anybody that has an 820 will know that. So you're going to have to take this uh, bracket off, take the bracket off so it's just the rod, and then take this clip off. You just slide the clip off, push this shifter fork down, and then as you're lifting the case up, so you leave the shifter fork in with the bottom case hugging around the uh, first gear set here. You can take your uh, favorite pliers and whatnot and just grab a hold of this thing. It's pretty easy to get these off. So yeah, this is not with all garden tractor or uh, transaxles. I mean, this is not always happens, but uh, I know my 820 definitely has this, and this is a problem with some. So this is a heads up if you happen to own it. Well, yeah, here's the posi. Posi definitely broke on the one weld here. So, yeah, there's that. Now I'm going to show you guys how to put the axle back together. All right, so now it's time to put the case back together. And if you ever pulled the shifter fork out from the top of the case there, then you're going to have this ball and spring. So mine conveniently uh, landed right on the shifting fan uh, right there. But sometimes it lands down in the bottom of the case, and you got to go fishing for it. And uh, not a big deal. So you're going to want to take these out. And save them for later. A little parts bag here. And then you're going to want to put the top case back on the bottom case. But before you do that, you want to make sure that these little uh, triangles on the bushings are lined up in their slots correctly. Because if they're not, then the case will bind up. Because the top, top case pinches the bottom. So you want to make sure it's seated in the pocket right there. That one's seated. Get some light over here. Yep, and if they're not, if they're sitting right on top of the, uh, like right up on the top, like right here, then the top case comes down and squishes the bushing onto the shaft here, 
and then it'll make it really hard to turn. That's why sometimes transaxles will bind up when you put them back together. It's because you don't put those triangles back right. All right, so you got the heater going and uh, top case is back on. And uh, yeah, pretty much you just want to set the case on and then uh, I, I usually put all the bolts snug in and then just start going from one side of the case to the other, prevent cracking or whatever. And then uh, just kind of tighten them down as you go, then check over them once again, same pattern, other side. And then once you're done with that, you're, I've already done this, but there's the Allen key here. If, so if you pulled the shift fork out, you had to push the shift fork there, you have that ball and spring. You take an Allen head, put it in there, and you loosen this out all the way. You take your ball, you put the ball in first, then you take the spring and you put the spring in right behind it. You just tighten that back down in, and uh, so it's kind of flush, and then you got you got pressure on your uh, shift fork, and that's kind of what makes the clicks happen and, uh, when you're shifting and stuff. So that's pretty important. Don't Make sure you don't forget that. But that's pretty much how you throw a pure list back together and uh, take it apart, put it back together. Hope this video helps out some kind of people out there with uh, some confusion and I can uh, provide a link to people that are having trouble. So, thanks for watching, guys.